It's Juanito, baby. I shouldn't have to tell anybody, Juanito, you know you, my mans, and yes, all sir. of that. I, I, I got my young boy with me, yes. my, bo- my boy Matthew Ragazzino, a.k.a. AKA, AKA Math, a.k.a. Brownsville, a.k.a. Watch Your Bars, <laughs> a.k.a. You a.k.a. Hide Your Favorite MC. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you call him. All Whatever that. you call him. I mean, Matthew, you know. how you, brother? I'm, I'm absolutely... Absolutely great, man. He's ATF, you know? B. That's how he is. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling fresh, you know, like the new year. Brooklyn's I have home. no complaints right now. Uh, Brownsville, correct? All, all Brownsville. as well. Yeah, Brownsville. 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 Brownsville all day. So I want to refresh everyone, you know, people that have been following you through your videos, through the blogs. I want to refresh everyone because people need to know from the ground up, from the core, from the beginning. And let's work our way up until now and in the future. Let's, Absolutely. Let's, let's, I figure we should do that. So... What year or what when you really started to get in, in the in the mix in the studio and what year you started really getting? Your I would I would definitely say uh, to be exact, October two thousand seven. I um, featured on a couple of records on a co op album with uh, DJ Envy and Red and Cafe. Cafe. Shout out to yeah. the whole Shakedown movement. He, that's that's what really 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 kind of gave me a little spark as far as you know being noticed on the web a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. But but he was in the studio for about four years before that. About four? That. What? Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, the Virginia years. You guys seem to have like a brother, young brother, big Oh, brother no, this is my little brother. Yeah, yeah, this like, is definitely, I, just, I mean, not like in blood, but in, you know, in the heart. This we, is my little brother. I, I've known him since he was since he was 15. We definitely like see the that. Like the record say. Yeah. When like, you guys, when you guys meet? Uh, I, I met him in my boy Lloyd's. Um, my boy Lloyd had a a, 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 a record store, Shout like out to L. like one hood away from. I'm from I'm from Crown Heights, but I live in Mill Basin, and the next hood over is Canarsie. Yeah. And my boy L had a record store in Canarsie. What was the name of the record store? What was the name of the record store? Y two K Music Y two K Music Y two K. Yeah, it's it's closed, but oh, yeah, yeah. you know. But they used to do a lot of in stores over there. Yeah, we yeah. they did that. do in stores yeah. over there. Absolutely, it's it was so across crazy. the street from Sally's. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> but but uh, yeah, um, he called me over. He was like, "Yo, these cats are rhyming in my in my in my store." So I went and I, you know, went to go check them out, and there was this dude rhyming. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but he 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 you was on. Um, just forgot the name. Nah nah, he sounded <clears throat> he sounded crazy. Oh, shit. like he sounded great, but then he would rhyme and his rhymes were great. So I was just like, okay, he's got the young voice on him right now. So I told my man Los, I was like, "Yo Los, yo Lloyd." Whatever you do, this is the guy. Like he's he's serious right there. So like it might take a second a for him to get past his voice. Like he was he had he was dumb young. He was like fifteen, right? Yeah. And yeah. um his voice sounded like fifteen ish. Right. So I was like, yo, whatever you do, take your time, build this one. I mean he's the other guy, he was he was cool, right. but he, his lyrics weren't where his was. So I was just like, take your time and build this guy and you know, holla at me. So then, you know, it was like four years, right? Four years yeah. later when they told me to come down to Virginia. Yeah. And yeah. what's the process of building him? Like um to me MC's uh if you're an MC um you have to become a rapper. And um like I think there's probably only one MC who's ever became a rapper on their own and that might have been Kanye, but that's because Kanye was a producer. But like no MC becomes that rapper who makes great songs on their own. They usually yeah. have a producer that sit next to them and 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 is able to be trusted by him so that when he says maybe that's not the right record right. that the actual MC will actually say okay and let's not maybe maybe, maybe that's not it yeah. and can take the ridicule and accept it from this this said producer who actually no yes man right no yes yeah. man we we don't we no, don't do that, that. but a, 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 lot a of real a, a real a real mm. MC <laughs> has to be able to accept that criticism from his producer and that's what's lacking in the game like there's too many guys who just think they know it all right now so that's why you see so many people come and then they disappear because they didn't have a producer sitting next to them going my man that's not the record it's not gonna pop off that's not it no, you're, really you're hot right now but you're done in a second monday night monday night action, action. on dtfradio.com Fuck.